Hi, I'm Hussain Dalia, a software engineer. In this video, we'll see some of the good practices to organize your project. For that, I start from a, a basic MVC5 application hosted on MSDN code. You can download it. I'll open it in Visual Studio. And what we see here, we have actually three main components, which are the models, where I have the person entity and Another component is the person's context, the, uh, the data context, and I have here the repositories from where I access the data. What I'm going to do here is to separate these objects from my main project. For that, I'll create a new project. I'll choose the type of class library, but you can choose portable class library uh, if you target multiple platforms, Windows 8, Windows Phone, Silverlight, and some others. I'll call it models as I'm gonna place in it my models from the main project. Okay. And here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the person entity from the main project to the new project and I'm gonna just uh, remove the default created class, class 1 okay and I'll remove also the person from the models here hit ok also I'm gonna create another project I've typed class library also and I am gonna call it context I removed the default created class okay and I'll replace the person's context here to place it in the new project and I'll delete it from here okay I create another project and here it will host my repositories hit ok and I'll place the generic repository and its uh, interface from the main project to the new project and remove them from the old main project also I remove the default created class okay so what I have now is the main project MVC5 demo and three other projects context that contains the data context for my application models that contains the entities used by the entity framework and they have the repositories, the, um, the interface and the implementation of uh, the repositories. So now if I want to build my application, build solution, of course I'll get a lot of errors because uh, of missing a using or missing a reference. For that I'll add the reference to the models from my MVC5 demo. I'll just choose add reference and here in solution I'll, I'll choose models and repositories as these are the, um, the references that I'll, my MVC5 main project will need. Now I'll build again. I'll get uh, less um, errors. So let's go one by one. Uh, here, actually, I'm using Resharper. It's a good tool that resolves these uh, references automatically. So here, just here it knows it wants a reference to Entity Framework. So I just click it and it's gonna add a reference to Entity Framework and add the using for Entity Framework. 
so let's build again and see if we get uh, some other errors build solution let's go here and let's see what um, a sharp want so a reference to entity framework okay here a reference to the models project as the person here is hosted on the models project so let's build again uh, here I'll I have just one error so reference context as the person's context is under the project call it context okay so it adds that reference let's build again build solution and now okay build succeeds so let's click f let's uh, click f5 and see the execution if it works fine okay so let's go to the persons page okay here I have the uh, data registered in my database so let's try to just create a new uh, a new entity and register it to the database so I'll choose a name um, Ahmad so let's say he's an engineer of the age 18 okay create okay it's added and my application now just works fine so let's stop this and let's just recap what we did so what we did here is just we removed some of the objects that were in MVC5 demo and replaced them in different uh, projects this is very good as um, when testing our application when I will write unit tests for the MVC5 demo I'll target the just the controllers I'm not gonna uh, uh, test anything else just the controllers and with this way I I just ensure that MVC5 demo which is an MVC5 application just contains the necessary business code for an MVC5 application which, which are the controllers and just the controllers okay and the models I'll be able to uh, reference them from another applications if I need that so I'll just reference the models uh, the models project instead of referencing the MVC5 demo and with this way I'll be able to use the models and uh, uh, separately in another project uh, for example I'll need the models in uh, a Windows 8 application so I just add a reference to the models project instead of adding a reference to the MVC5 demo okay that's very good and the, for the repositories it's the same thing I'll be able to reuse the repositories project inside many other projects just add by adding a reference to this project and I'll be um, without I mean without uh, just recreating another repositories project and redefine the uh, classes the the interface which is almost the same interface for any repository 